Kenberg with Fred Thompson and Mike Adamley at the Ali Indoor Invitational here in Long Beach. And now a special event, the Masters 60-meter dash. You have to be 55 years old to be eligible. And there's Peyton Jordan in lane four. He's a track coach at Stanford University, was the captain of the USC track team in 1939. Maybe the fastest American for his age. He's 62. They're ready to go. Al Gaudet and Tom Gonzalez on the outside break well, but here comes Jordan in the middle of the track. Peyton Jordan wins it going away in 7.79 seconds. Oh, you don't have to be an aficionado to appreciate the elegance of Jordan's running style. He wins again. How come you still run it, Mr. I love the competition. I love the fellowship. I think it's great. <laughs> what about the training? It's hard, but I enjoy it because it's just like playing tennis, golf, or swimming, or anything else. The 1980 game? Not this old fella. <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, thanks a lot, Mr. Jordan. Thank you. Good luck to you, Hank. In the pole vault, Mike Tully missed badly on his first attempt at a new world's record. Here's his second try. 18-4. Just missed. Mike, how close was it? Dickie was so close that I thought he had made the ball. It was a great attempt at 18-4 in a new world's record. You watch the replay. Tell he's got a great vault going, good speed going into the box, good form going over the bar. And as we watch, it looks like he kicks the bar off with his thigh. We'll give it one more attempt. Now the good-looking Tully said he wants to be an actor someday, and no acting there. He almost has a new world record. And even if he doesn't get it, his performance tonight so early in this track and field season is quite remarkable. Now the 60 meters for women, and here's the field. This is an outstanding field, headed by Andrea Lynch from Great Britain. There's a new sprint sensation in this field whom I feel will press her, a youngster by the name of Deandra Carney in the lane nearest us. That's Lynch and White in the middle, lane four. And they're ready to go, women's 60 meters. Lynch, Cheeseboro, Robinson, Ashford break together. Watch Lynch in lane four. She's pulling ahead. Lynch and Ashford, it's Lynch winning it in 7.2 seconds. But oh, was that close. Ashford, Carney, Cheeseboro, we're all there. Let's watch it again. You see Lynch in the middle. They're dead even at that point with 15 meters to go. Lynch in white. That's Carney on the near side. And on the far side is Ashford. And Lynch just barely is the winner in the 60-meter dash. The <laughs> <laughs> second alley win. It was tough. It was tough. It didn't look so tough for you not even breathing. Yeah, I know, but it's the first race. It always gives me better class. In the first race of the season. First race of the season. What did you think about this straightaway? They're great. You know, it's just like any already indoor race. Just, I thought of all these young girls and me bettering their hair and just shared me. Were you scared? Ever yeah, scared. scared. In the high jump, Dwight Stone, second attempt at 7-2. Oh, he doesn't look happy, does he? He's headed toward the judges. Scratch. Scratch. You heard his voice. He scratched. The unpredictable Stones has taken himself out of the competition. Mike, can you get a comment? You guys are trying to jump, man. Okay. You want to go over here? Yeah, let's get out of this way. All right. Well, Dwight and I have stepped aside as Kyle Arney, the 1977 NCAA champ, makes an attempt. Well, there's a whole lot of reasons. I'm the one that set the whole thing up, and I was the one that had the most time into setting it up. If we hadn't had the setup we have, we wouldn't be jumping. Then, in the setup, I get hurt and strain an Achilles tendon a little bit, so I need a little bit more time. And we got people that are trying to invoke a two-minute rule when it wasn't said, any, nothing was said about that. And he's talking about consideration for people. You know, what about consideration for the athletes? So I figure if they're not going to keep the area clean, from people walking in front of me and if they're going to try and enforce two minute rules and stuff like that after I've set the whole thing up for them, you know, go ahead and let them jump. You don't think you're doing a disservice to the uh, meet at all then? What can I do? I'm hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for trouble jumping. I could pull an Achilles. That's the end of my career. Here's Canada's Greg Joy at 7-4. No one has cleared this height. And that jump's going to win it for him. Greg appears to be in the same form that won in the silver medal in 1976 at Montreal. 
Greg told me before this meet that he took a five-month layoff from competition. It appears that it hasn't affected him at all. He makes it with room to spare. And you can be sure that Greg will set the bar at 7-7 and give himself an opportunity to break Dwight Stone's Zindar mark of 7-6 and a half. Well, Ali in his own way is tuning up for his race. The Celebrity Relay event will be next, and we'll check the champs' road work then. America, the beautiful, she's big and she's free. There's no place like her on this earth, and they'll probably never be. She's been a long time growing, and she's moving right along. Gotta keep that beat of going, like the rhythm of a song. We can't wait, we can't wait for tomorrow. Oh, no, I can't wait. We gotta save the houses that speak of yesterday. We gotta work the land, my friend, in a new and better way. The people at Alcoa are working every day. We will find the answers as aluminum shows the way. We can't wait, we can't wait for tomorrow. Alcoa can't wait. Schlitz Light. Schlitz Light beer has a third fewer calories than our other fine beer, and all the taste beer drinkers expect from Schlitz. Is that what the gentleman always orders? That's his beer, the only light beer with gusto. We'll have two Schlitz Lights. Beer drinkers know it took Schlitz to bring the taste to light. Ferguson! Sarge, do you have a Gillette Track 2 blade I could borrow? Got an injector, it shaves clothes. No! Track 2 shaves me closer than any single blade. Closer! My razor, Sarge? Track 2 is more comfortable than old Ironsides. The twin blade Gillette Track 2 does shave you closer with less irritation than any single blade. Two day pass for anybody with a Track 2. <laughs> to guys who use Gillette Track 2, no single blade will do. An outstanding matchup between two of the top ranked teams in the country as the Bruins of UCLA take on the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame later this afternoon on NBC. This is Charlie Jones and Nancy Thies in Oviedo, Spain. More of the Ali track meet later, but now the beauty not only of women's gymnastics, but the grace, agility, personality, and style of all women in sports.